Today I'm going to show you exactly what's new in Leonardo AI's Motion 2.0, how it stacks up to the old version, and what you can really create with the latest text-to-video features. Let's start with a bit of context. If you've used Leonardo AI before, you'll know that their original Motion 1.0 feature let you turn any generated image into a short four-second video. But let's be honest, those videos mostly just panned left or right, something you could do in any basic video editor. The results were underwhelming, and there wasn't much real animation or creative motion. Now with Motion 2.0, Leonardo AI has completely changed the game. You're no longer limited to animating a static image. You can now start with just a text prompt and generate a video from scratch, no image required. And even if you do start with an image, the quality of the animation has improved dramatically. The motion is smoother, the scenes are more dynamic, and you have a lot more control over how the camera moves and how the video looks. Let me show you how to get started. From the main Leonardo dashboard, look to the left-hand navigation. You'll see a new video option. Click that and you'll enter the video generation workspace. Alternatively, if you're already in the image generation area, you can switch to video from there as well. Now here's where the magic happens. At the top, you'll see a prompt box. This is where you can enter your text prompt to describe the video you want to create. Once you've written your prompt, hit the Generate button and Leonardo AI will start creating your video. It's that simple. If you're used to writing prompts for AI image generation, you'll want to adjust your approach here. For video, the best results come when you break your prompt into three parts. First, describe the scene in visual terms. Next, explain what's happening in the scene, what actions or motions are taking place. And finally, add any extra details like how the camera should move or the mood you want to set. Now, you'll notice that camera movement is also configurable in the settings, so you can pick from options like crane down or crash zoom in. We will get to that in a moment. But let's say you want a movement that isn't available in the settings, maybe something more creative or specific. In that case, you can describe your desired camera movement directly in your prompt. For example, a futuristic city skyline at dusk, flying cars zipping between neon-lit skyscrapers, camera spirals upward through the buildings. But before you generate, you can configure a range of settings to fine-tune your results. First, you'll notice that only one model Motion 2.0 is available right now, but you can see that more models are coming soon. Next, you have Motion Control. This lets you choose how the camera moves in your video, with options like Crane Down or Crash Zoom In. You're not just stuck with a simple pan anymore. You can direct the camera's movement to match your creative vision. Then you can set the style of your video using three different controls. The Vibe lets you pick from effects like Papercraft, Sketch or Sci-Fi. You can also define the lighting, such as adding lens flare or creating a foggy atmosphere. Finally, you can select a color scheme, like Vibrant or Pastel, to match your mood or brand. When it comes to video dimensions, you've got all the standard aspect ratios, landscape, portrait and more. This makes it easy to create videos for YouTube, Instagram or anywhere else you want to post. There's also a generation mode toggle, which will eventually let you choose between faster, lower quality generations or slower, higher quality ones. Right now, this feature is marked as coming soon, so you're limited to the fast, lower quality mode. Prompt enhancement is another handy feature. If you leave it on auto, Leonardo AI will automatically improve short prompts but leave longer ones as they are. You can also force it on or off, depending on how much control you want over your wording. There's also an option for private mode. Turn this on and your videos stay private. Leonardo AI won't use them for promotional purposes or share them with the community. You can also add your video to a collection for easy organization. And under Advanced Settings, you'll find Smooth Video, which uses interpolation to blend frames for fluid transitions. There is also an option to enable negative prompts, letting you specify what you don't want to see in your video. It's worth noting that every video you generate with Motion 2.0, 
costs 250 tokens. For free users who only get 150 tokens per day, this means you won't be able to generate videos unless you upgrade to a paid plan. Let's look at the two main workflows, text to video and image to video. For text to video, just enter your prompt, adjust your settings and click generate. Leonardo AI will create a video based entirely on your description. For image to video, you can start with a prompt and then add a starting image by clicking the small image icon in the prompt box. This lets you guide the video with a specific visual. There's also an end frame feature coming soon which will let you define both the starting and ending images for your video, a feature I'm really excited to see in action. So what can you actually make with Leonardo AI's Motion 2.0? You can create short 5-second video clips with much smarter motion, more dynamic camera moves and a variety of artistic styles. The videos are smoother, the motion is more realistic and the creative control is miles ahead of what was possible before. But there are still some limitations. Motion 2.0 is only available to paid users and each video costs a significant number of tokens. Some features, like generation mode quality and end frames, are still labeled as coming soon. And while the motion is much improved, it's not perfect. Complex animations or hidden angles can sometimes trip up the AI. To sum up, Leonardo AI's Motion 2.0 finally delivers on the promise of true text-to-video generation. You can start with just a prompt or an image, customize the style, lighting and motion, and generate short dynamic videos that look and feel much more professional than before. It's a big leap forward, and if you're a paid user, it's definitely worth trying out. If you want to generate images or videos for free, make sure you check out my ComfyUI Masterclass series on YouTube. In those videos, I show you exactly how to set up powerful, completely free workflows for both image and video generation, step by step with no paid tokens required. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.